In this video, we will be learning about algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression represents a story, a statement, or a sentence. Algebraic expressions are made up of three things, numbers, operation symbols, and variables. Some of you may remember back to Unit 2 when we talked about operation symbols. Those symbols include the addition sign, subtraction sign, multiplication sign, and division sign. Just as a reminder. Here is an example of how we would put together an algebraic expression. So for example, Gina has five more dollars than Bill. Five is going to be our number. More is going to stand for the operation symbol addition, and our variables are G for Gina and B for Bill. So we're going to say Gina equals Bill plus 5. And if we go back and look at our, read our story, we're going to see if that makes sense with this. Gina has 5 more dollars than Bill. G equals Bill plus 5. That makes sense because Gina is going to have five more dollars than B or Bill. So putting together algebraic expressions can be tricky, but throughout this video I'm going to teach you some hints, some clues, and some ways to successfully write algebraic expressions. Okay, operation symbols are a really important part of writing algebraic expressions. Again, we have the addition sign, subtraction sign, multiplication sign, and division sign. So the question is, when do we use each of these? What are going to, when I'm reading an algebraic number story, how do I know whether I'm going to be deciding to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? So there's some key words that can help you. If, for example, you read a sentence or a number story that has these words, more than, raise, older, rises, increases, goes up by, climbs, or grows, um, these are types of words or synonyms for add. So anytime you see these types of words, you're going to be using the operation symbol for addition. When should you subtract? You should subtract when you see sayings or words like less than, decreases, reduce, difference, dropped, change, declines, takes away, younger, goes down, dives, types of words like this. You're going to use the multiplication operation symbol when you see words such as or sayings such as three times as much, six times as much, of, we know of means to multiply, for each, twice, by, those types of words. And lastly, you should divide or use the division symbol when you see word problems or sentences with these types of words. Half of, divide evenly, cut, split, each, every, average, shared. So as you move through the following word problems, look in the problem and see if you can see any of these keywords and go ahead and come back to this page to help you decide if you're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Here are a few steps to successfully write an algebraic expression. Step one, you're going to want to highlight the keyword that will tell you whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So we're looking for these key words to decide if we're going to do an addition sign, a subtraction sign, a multiplication sign, or a division sign. Step two would be to highlight the number that we will be using in our algebraic expression. So highlight it, circle it, underline it, just so you know which number you're going to be using. And step three, we need to pick a variable. And that variable is going to replace what we do not know or what we are trying to find out. So let's try our first problem. If Beth's allowance is 250 more than Theodore's, then, then Beth's allowance is. So we got our steps to remember here. We need to choose our keyword, our number, and our variable. So our number's easy because there's only one number showing. 250 is going to be our number. Um, our keyword is more. And if we look back to our list, more is under our list for addition. So we're going to be adding. And next we want to find out 
which variable we're going to be using. So what is it that we don't know or what is it that we are trying to find out? The question is asking what Beth's allowance is. So we're going to use B for Beth. So Beth equals Theodore plus 250. Or we can drop the B and just say that Beth equals T plus 250. And this makes sense if we reread the problem. If Beth's allowance is 250 more than Theodore's, then Beth's allowance is. So we have Theodore as the T plus 250, and that will bring us back to Beth. So our answer here would be T plus 250. Next problem, if Rochelle grows three inches, what is her new height? So our steps to remember, we want to find the keyword to tell us which operation symbol we're gonna use. We need the number and we need the variable. So number's easy again, because there's only one number in this problem, so three is gonna be our number. Um, our keyword, if Rochelle grows, and if we look back to our keyword page, grows is going to tell us to add. And our, our variables are Rochelle and what is it that we're trying to find. So we're trying to find what is her new height. Height can be represented by H. So height is what we're trying to find. So it's going to be height equals Rochelle plus 3. And again, we can drop the H and we can just write Rochelle plus 3. Or the correct answer is also height equals Rochelle plus 3. Either of those would work. So if we look back at the question, does this make sense? If Rochelle grows three inches, what is her new height? Well, whatever Rochelle used to be, plus three is going to give us that height. So this does make sense as our algebraic expression. It's time for you to try one. So this is your first homework question that you're, you will enter online. It says, choose the algebraic expression that matches the story. During the day, the temperature rose 10 degrees. How much did the temperature increase during the day? So think about this, choose A, B, C, or D, and go ahead on your homework and explain why you chose the answer you chose. Okay, here's our next example. So let's go through our steps here. We need to find the keyword. Split into is gonna be our keyword or keywords. If we look back to our keyword page, this is going to tell us to divide. Eight is our number. And what is it we're trying to find? One piece of the pie. So we're going to use the variable O for one. One piece of pie equals the pie divided by eight. So we can write this P divided by eight would give us one piece of pie or one piece of pi equals p divided by eight. We can also write this a different way using multiplication. We could say that one piece of pi equals one eighth times p. Both of those are gonna give us the same answer. Um, so either way is acceptable and you would get the correct answer writing either of those algebraic expressions. Remember, we can drop the O and we can just choose to write P divided by eight, P divided by eight, or one eighth times P. Those would be the correct answers. All right, and here's our next problem. Rayanne had two times as many books as Estelle. How many books did Rayanne have? So following our steps to remember, we need our keyword two times as many. If we look back to our keyword page, that's going to tell us to multiply. Our variables are R for Ray Ray Rayanne and E for Estelle. And our number is kind of within our keyword, which is two here. And it's asking us to find how many books did Rayanne have. So Rayanne equals, and we're going to put in our two times, Estelle, because Rayanne has two times as many 
two times as many books as Estelle. So it's going to be two times E or Estelle. Exactly like it sounds. Rayan had two times as many books as Estelle. Two times Estelle equals Rayan. So it kind of looks exactly it kind of looks exactly as it sounds when we read out the story, which is what we want to happen here. That's how we know we're doing it correctly. So it's always nice to go back and read the story and see if it matches the algebraic expression. We could also write this as r equals 2e because we know that when a number is right next to a variable, it means to multiply. So that's another way to write this. That kind of looks like ze, so we don't want to confuse that. Maybe it would be better to write it as 2e like that. And like I showed you in all the previous problems, if you just wanted to write 2 times e or 2e, that would be acceptable as well. You could drop the r equals. It's important when we're watching these videos to really pay attention to the tips that are being given to us. So please make sure that you write down the steps to remember somewhere on your paper. You can write them simplified like this, or if you wanna go back and write more detailed specific directions, again, these steps are gonna help you be successful with algebraic expressions. So please write down the detailed steps or the abbreviated versions of the steps here somewhere on your paper. Okay, and here is homework question number two. It says, write an algebraic expression to match this story. Use the variable P that is given. So the story is a basket of apples weighs P pounds. How much do five baskets weigh? Go ahead and solve this, write it down in your notebook and then enter it online. Here's our next problem. Esteban is 30 years younger than his dad. How old is Esteban? So our steps to remember, we need our keyword. Our keyword here is younger. And if we look back to our keyword page, that's going to tell us to subtract. We have 30 as our number. We have E for Esteban and D for dad. And it's asking us how old is Esteban. So Esteban equals, and then we have left dad and 30. So would we want to write here that it's 30 minus dad, or would it make sense to say dad minus 30? So again, think about would it make sense to write Esteban is 30 years minus dad? Or would it make sense to write Esteban equals dad minus 30 years? Hopefully this second choice sounded more correct to you because that is the correct answer. So we would say here that Esteban equals dad minus 30 years. Or if we wanted to just drop the E, we could just write D minus 30 as our final answer. Here is question number three on your homework. The story problem is Jamie scored twice as many goals as Pedro. How many goals did Jamie score? So it wants you to use the variable for Pedro P and the variable for Jamie J and write an algebraic expression to match this story. Here is your last homework question for tonight. Choose the algebraic expression that matches the story below. In your notebook, describe why you chose the answer that you did. Franco, Raul, and Damon scored all of the goals in the game. Damon scored half as many goals as Franco and Raul put together. So Damon scores what? You're choosing A, B, C, D, E, or F. There is a hint, it says there may be more than one answer. So on your online homework, you're going to click all of the answers that would apply. So think about as you read this story, which algebraic expressions match the story as you're reading it. Thanks for doing tonight's homework and we will see you tomorrow.